Hello Jungle Emperor Leo fans. I'm back with another video. And this video is going to be like an update to a lot of the things I've already done videos of. You know, the figures and stationaries and kitchenware and things like that. Right now what you're looking at is wrapping paper of our little emperor. And it's got all kinds of characters on it. Because there's him and his dad, and there's Claw, and Tom and Tab, and Cassius is in here. And some of the leopards. And the elephants, Boss Rhino. It's full of little figures here and there. Got bunches of the elephants together. I think some of the hippos, Jungle Emperor Leo. It's not easy to film. I wasn't sure how well I was going to be able to get it to work. And his mom's in here somewhere. There she is. She's upside down right there. There's no particular wrong, right way to do this. It's because it's, they're all in different directions. Anywho. This is going to be, like I said, an update. I've got some new figures. And some other new items. And some things I've already had. And I'll go through them with you. This is not a vintage item. This is very popular and pretty much brand new. He's from, I think he's from China. But he's a clock. <coughs> Excuse me. This is, uh, this is like a little digital clock. Alarm clock, I think, too. And his battery is right there between his legs. I haven't put the battery in. And he is posed on a heart stand, heart shaped stand. And they're all over Yahoo Japan. But he's so cute. And I won't really keep him with the vintage stuff. I kind of keep him in the living room with me, the, I'm sorry, the uh, office with me. Okay, these are some folders. And this one has. A little bit of everybody on the front. I believe that is Pee Wee, the elephant. The way they made his eyes look Chinese. And there's Bucky, his mama, his daddy, Snowine and Caesar, Polly, Daniel, Kitty, Leo, Kimba, and Jocko, the rat. And on the back, it's just got, because they're pretty much transparent, so on the back it just has the symbol, Jungle Emperor Leo. And next is another folder, Jungle Emperor Leo, and him with a common pose of him with Kitty. Paw prints, Jungle Emperor Leo, and the back, like I said, they're, they're tra it's transparent. And a little symbol with him. And I got these off of eBay. This one is where I keep a lot of my stickers. And this one has Kitty and Kimba on the back. John Glamper Leo. And see it's a little um, snapshot. And on the other side... There's Polly, and riding in a little jeep car is Mr. Pompous, or Uncle Pompous, to Roger, and that's Roger, Kimba, Kitty, Daniel, and Bucky. And again, I got this one off of Yahoo Japan, and it holds a lot of my, um, a lot of the stuff you saw in the stickers video. This is another set of little figures. This is like um, characters that fit on the end of pull, pull chains. You tie them onto like lampshades, or I mean lampshades, uh, lamps, chains, um, ceiling fan chains. And there's Kitty. I mean Kitty, I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't talk tonight. Um, Leo. 
and cocoa. And I think these are Japanese, I mean, uh, Chinese too. And there he is, little fella. Next items are Pez dispensers. This is Kitty. Little hollow dispenser. She didn't come with candy, but Kimba <laughs> did. Not the best looking one I've ever seen. Of course, I've seen a lot of them with a smeared nose. He looks like he has some eye trouble. But he did come with three rolls of candy. He's still sealed. Don't think I'll be eating that candy though. Trust me. Next, here is the pin that I said in when I did the jewelry video that I thought I lost. Or, well, misplaced. And it was him as an adult. Obviously a picture from uh, the manga. And this was the last item I'd gotten from uh, White Lion Restorations before we lost our beloved owner to the fan site, Craig Anderson. And like I said, you can go to the shop, but it's basically like a museum now. You can't buy anything from it that I know of. I've tried to send emails. I think the people are just keeping it up. Friends and family are just keeping it up as a little memento. And if you go to Crow Kimba, you can, or uh, not Crow Kimba, but uh, 50 Years of Kimba, you um, do have a link there to go to the old site. And it's still up and can't click on some of the things and get much out of them, but because um, some of the videos he's got aren't um, working right now, but you can still listen to the music and read the articles as up to date as he made it. This is a notepad. Again, this is not vintage. And a pen with the little guy on the top. And these again are all over Yahoo Japan. I don't consider these vintage at all. But I'll probably not use the pen. Alright. This is a card. Nothing on the back. Well, there is, but you're not going to get me to be able to read that. Anyway, it's, uh, it's the picture of from the manga of him seeing his father's hide and thinking it's really his dad. Like in the episode Great Caesar's Ghost, and you can see his friend's feet underneath as they're trying to talk to him. <laughs> I thought he was so cute in those overalls. This is some Menko cards. I'd gotten these free when I'd gotten stuff from J City, where I got a lot of my car uh, uh, stickers and little um, cards and things, but. This is, uh, like I say, the Menko. They have the little information on the back again. <laughs> I wish I read Japanese. Now this is him singing. And this is his dad attacking villagers. Obviously a scene from the manga. And this is him talking with his father's hide. Looks like it's from the insect invasion. When, uh, at the very end of the episode, when he was talking to him. Because there's the vegetables. And there's Mighty Panja on a cliff. And our little boy Walking in Wonder. Now these interesting little pictures on the back. But yeah, I'd gotten these free from uh, J City. 
And this is a little, I don't know, little cutout thing I got. And again, I got it free. They just sent me a handful of them. That's him talking with Jaco. And I don't know who that is in the background. Some of the other characters. Nothing on the back. And this is a pack of Kleenex. It's not going to come through very well because the picture's not very sharp. And there's three different packs. All of him with Kitty or Raya. I think I got these from eBay some time back. I've forgotten I had them. This is a stack of trading cards. Somebody was selling them for like dirt cheap on Yahoo Japan. And I will go through these like a little more because there's some duplicates in here. But to give you a hint of some of the cards, I pulled a few out from each different set. This says checklist. And it's... I guess it's where you can check off to see what cards are available as you get them. And there's, I got about three or four of these, but they're all the same. There's no difference. And I don't know which particular cards these mean. This says checklist number three. Here's one of him. Obviously a scene from the manga, the way he's drawn. Looking at his kingdom. And then they've, this particular set has manga drawings. Oh, there he is. And they go like this. And they're numbered. And I don't have, there's like a, here's the number. It's not coming through very well. But anyway, they've got um, different versions or different sets because that's one. Here's him as, and it's also drawn like, these were also drawn like the manga. And that's him with his one of his kids. And on the back, it shows him running. Happy. And then the next one is, this is obviously from the movie. That's when the lady was putting the, the little scarf around Rune's neck. And here's the back side, and he's looking at the portal, heading home, going back to the jungle. The little guy has no ideas. Mother died and his father's about to sacrifice himself. And here's the last one. Again, this is a different set. <laughs> There's Mr. Pompous getting his beard pulled, or mustache, I'm sorry, pulled by Polly Coco. And here he is after he's picked up Rune, but this is, it's, I don't have, it's obviously not complete, there are some missing in between, but I'll go through them individually. I figured I could at least do that, but it'll be a little bit of time from now. This is a video disc of just one episode of Go Ahead Leo, not this one that's portrayed here, the one with the wild dog that was sent to kill Leo and the family. And it said he befriended the kids, fell in love with the kids. But it is the episode, I don't remember the Naren title, but it's the one when he ran into the lady who had the, who was looking for her Black Panther. Uh, Lele, I think is what they called it. Lele, Lele. And re, uh, uh, 
Leo had been captured by a village because uh, they thought he was the one killing their cows and pigs, and it turned out it was no, it was the Black Panther. And he finally made the villagers realize who it was, and they killed the panther. Well, they didn't kill him. They actually, she ended up killing him because he was wild. He was no longer a pet. But that's all. Yeah, it's just one. Vi it's just one episode, and it's a video disc. If I can pop it open here, show the inside. Yeah, it's just a video disc. Of one episode. Still nice. I got it off of eBay. This is a fan, if I can reach it, that came in one of the books from Jungle Emperor Leo the movie. I'll show my books in another uh, video. So more or less you'd think this is going to be Rune because Kimba was an adult. And he's winking on one side. And that, like I say, is the poster. Get it so the light doesn't knock it down too badly. But this is a poster I'd gotten several years ago. Of him and his group. Jaco and there's squirrels around him. All of his friends. With the proud king. This I had gotten off of eBay. There's a blue background, which is this one, and there was a green background. And I said, I'll try for both and see which one I get. And I won this one. And it's one of those moving pictures. Makes it look like the background's moving. And my guess is this is really Panja and his son, like they liked a lot of times portray rather than Leo and his son. But, yeah, it's framed. It's not framed very well. I might see if I can get it better done, but it still works. Okay, whoops. Get up there. Okay, next is... This is pretty cool. This is a DVD I got from Yahoo Japan of, and there's two of them available, I, and I don't know if there's any difference because this one's yellow, and there's another one that's actually more pink, but it's a video of all of the opening and closing um, theme songs to a lot of Mushi production Tezuka character shows. There's Wonder 3, and Go Ahead Leo, and Jungle Emperor Leo, and Astro Boy, and Princess Knight, and several others. I don't know. There's no... There is no um, Blackjack. But there must be about six, to, I mean, seven or eight different opening and closing to Astro Boy, and there's uh, like four of them for her. And Leo has both his sung and unsung openings. And all of his and, his, and his closings. The short and the long version also. You know, go ahead, Leo, opening and closings. And this one, I don't know that character's name. If anybody knows, let me know, because I like, I like the opening and closing of that show. I thought I liked the episode, I mean, I liked the music pretty well, but I don't know what that character's name is. And Wonder 3 is in here, I like Wonder 3's too. And I also don't know the name of the little monkey. There's a little monkey and he's got a couple of opening and closing ones. I don't like quite like his as much, but it's still cute. Here is the symphonic poem on Japanese DVD. I've been trying to get this for a while, and I finally managed to get it again. I can get it, and there's still another one on Yahoo Japan. That's where I, that's uh, where I got this. 
And like I say, this is the full symphonic poem. Now, I don't understand why, but they've got three selections for it, and there's three different ones on here. What the difference is, I have absolutely no idea, because as far as I'm concerned, all of it was the same when I watched all three. There's no singing. It's all in, in uh, audio and video. And the introduction's the same with, I, get, I don't know if it's Sayo Domito himself doing the uh, introduction of all the instruments, but three versions on here and they're all the same to me. Now this is a cool set too. I just got this as well. This is a three pack of DVDs. One is Astro Boy, one is the Jungle Emperor movie that came out back in 65, and the other one's this little creature. I don't know what her story is. Her, his. I haven't watched that one yet, or the Astro Boy. But I've seen Leo's. Here's Astro Boy, and it's they're all movies. Here's the back side of that. Here is Leo. And the interesting thing, Craig Anderson made a comment about this saying that it was really just some of the episodes from the from the fifty from the sixty five sixty six series, it's the whole first episode and the whole uh, destroys from the desert episode with a lot of bits and pieces from other episodes inside. There's like some from Wind in the Desert. There's a little bit from uh, Great Caesar's Ghost. There's some from the Giant Herd. There's some from uh, Legend of Pippo Valley. Uh, insect Invasion, there's the song Otosa from that, there's the work song from the amusement park, Jungle Fun, yeah, was the name of that one, and it's, like I say, it's, it, but it's, it's well put together, I, it's not really, you know, junkly done, I don't think, it's really, it's, I think, I really enjoyed it, I, I liked it a lot. And, uh, you didn't, there was, like, no boss rhino, there was no humans, you never saw Roger or anything like that. But, uh, you saw him, like, take his kingdom, help the animals out, and then, of course, his kingdom was challenged by... Yeah, you did see, also see a little bit from Red Menace, so you saw a little bit of the fire, and that's when they worked together to build the farm... And then, after they got the farm and everything together, they that's when they had to uh, fight the destroyers, because they came. But I liked it. I, I really enjoyed it a lot. They say hopefully it's going to come one day to American DVDs. Right now, this is Japanese. And here's this little fella, or girl. And she looks like, a little bit like the um, rabbit from 1 to 3, but it's not her. And I haven't watched this yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I hope one day, I'm sure I'll like it. Of course, like I say, it's all in Japanese, too. Here is a little tumbler I got from eBay. And there's more than one available. Again, this is not a vintage item. But it's got a picture inside a sheet that goes all the way around. And the pictures are all of uh, from the manga in color. You can see his Japanese. The butterflies. Some of the fish. There's him in the ocean. Jungle of Leo. And the famous picture like on the DVD of him and his dad.
That's nice, though. This is a big figure of more the manga version of Leo. And he is posable. He can actually sit down. And he's got little overalls on. And I've seen there's an opposite of one. Uh, there's one with him with red overalls and the black tie. I've seen that one too on Yahoo Japan. And he's saying, hi guys. And again, he's posable. There's what he says on top. He's very, as bigger than I first thought he was. Because they wanted a fortune for him some time ago. And I got him a little cheaper this time when I got him from Yahoo Japan. This is a, a little Tupperware lunchbox kind of thing. And it's got Leo and... <laughs> And I got, uh oh, look, and Raya. And when you open it up, it has four little containers, and there's them on the top just their heads and then their profiles, too. And then you take this section off and it's just another container. It's just empty and there's no, uh, there's nothing inside and there's no, um, pictures on it. But it was cute. I'd been eyeing that for a while on, uh, Yahoo Japan. And they kept taking it off and bringing it back and they take it back off and bring it back. Here's a fork, and I actually had this when I did my kitchen set, and I forgot about it. It was in a different, it's, it was in a different box. There he is. Jungle Emperor Leo. That's a little kid's fork, three-prong. But, um... Yeah, like I guess I forgot about it. I had it in another container. And when I was cleaning up, I found it. Well, and I think that's about it. So, I'd like to thank you for watching. And I'll have another video, probably another month or so. And I will probably do another video, or even let me know if you want me to do a video. Put it in the comments if you want me to do a video of all the different cards. And uh, I'll see what I can do. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.